Well, hello, Mr. Wright. Let me put my yeah. drink down. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. How does it feel when you see your creation up on the big screen? I can't imagine what that must feel like. It feels like you're on a roller coaster and um, there's no getting off until, uh, until it's over. Um, but, you know, when it's a comedy, if it works, it's really fun. And I've had to, you know, I've gotten to see this in front of audiences a few times um, in Toronto and different film festivals. Uh, and so, yeah, it, it, it plays the way I hoped it would. So that, that's fun. And where did the idea come from? What kind of inspired it? I just had this, well, there was two things. Um, Lily Tomlin called me up and said, hey, I'm sitting with Jane Fonda and we think you should write a movie for us. And, uh, and then I had this idea of somebody at a funeral uh, whose people are coming up to this guy, played by Malcolm McDowell, and, and uh, sort of giving him hugs and saying, we're so sorry for your loss, etc. And then someone comes up, played by Jane Fonda, and says, I'm going to kill you this weekend, and moves on. And uh, so I, ha I just had that idea for a scene, and then I was like, oh, it's Jane Fonda who says that, and she needs Lily to help her. So that, that was sort of the genesis of it. A lot of writers say, I mean, everyone's different, that once they kind of really establish who the characters are, that it almost writes itself because they know what those characters will do. Do you find that or do you feel like you're very much, you know, guiding the ship the whole time when you write? Um, yeah, I think you hope that it, that's the case, that the characters are doing things and you're not even sure why and then you figure it out as it goes along. Um, it's like playing with dolls when you're a kid, basically. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I, 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 do, I do feel that. And I try also... I like directing stuff that I've written because if the actors want to change something on set, I'm totally up for that and I don't have to feel guilty about annoying the writer. And if you had to choose between, I mean, I know it's hard, it's like choosing between mum and dad, but um, writing or directing, if there was only one that you had to, you could do, what would you choose? I guess I'd choose directing because I like being around people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it does, get, it can be very lonely as a, as a writer because it's, it, it's just you and the piece of paper. Yeah, um, yeah usually I delude myself for a while that the thing's good and then when I look at it afterwards I say oh my yeah. god what was I thinking um, so yeah it's 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 humbling um, yeah and then what's in the works for you next are you, are you working on anything right now or? Um, yeah well um, my brother and I produced a movie called about my father with um, uh, Robert De Niro and Sebastian Maniscalco and that'll be coming up in the summer and uh, we um, we're working on a sci-fi show uh, based on a series of novels called the murder about diaries for Apple. Oh, wow, look at you, you know, slow, and icons, you seem to attract icons, okay. you seem to, it's like I'm only working with people who are iconic. Um, I'm very polite, so yeah. I think they appreciate that. <laughs> there we go, well, congrats again, I'm Thanks. so, you know, happy that it's out, and I think people are, are going to love, I mean, how can you not, it's Lily Tomlin, it's Jane Fonda, and you wrote it, so. Thanks, Thanks for talking Thank to me. Thank you so much, it was so nice to meet you. You too. Congrats.